Well, first, thank you for inviting me. Yes, this is the very first time I was uh, I was uh, invited uh, for 2020, uh, but uh, well, it didn't happen for reasons that we all know. And uh, it was very nice to uh, to hear that it was going to be held again in uh, 2022, and uh, I was still invited to come. So, and this is really been an amazing experience. I think. Um, I mean, from uh, from the organization, I think it's wonderful. I mean, the location, the um, the all the tiny details that you know you very often you don't find in other conferences. You know, the fact that they take care, very good care of you as a, as a speaker. But then, uh, as a as a technical event, I think the, it's, the talks are really really high level. Uh, people that uh, are giving and presenting technologies are very often the creators of that technology, which uh, is something that you don't find usually. <laughs> it's more like somebody talking about something they read about in a, in a paper or in a book. And overall, it's, uh, it's a great experience. And in the audience, um, such, having such a large uh, attendance and uh, very active in terms of asking questions, that's really awesome. Uh, yeah, uh, essentially the talk is uh, how we take blockchains uh, and we try to simplify what a blockchain essentially is. So we define what is the data structure that is behind a blockchain and what is the API and the service that that data structure should uh, provide. And then we show a couple of examples of how how that could be used uh, in order to uh, uh, you know uh, solve certain problems. Um, then uh, we generalize it to other uh, simpler data structures that could be also used in uh, uh, distributed uh, environments in which uh, agents don't trust each other. You know, and then how this is probably a tool that many distributed computing programmers want to have in their toolbox. Thank you for inviting me again.